Hello, and welcome to another episode of our Two Cents. We are at Old Pool Steakhouse at and Two, two Rivers. Rivers. Yeah. And I can't get enough of this space. Like, only just now did I notice the beautiful lights with the Maasai beads. It's really, it's actually stunning. And if you really do appreciate, like, the Maasai culture, you will love this yeah. place. This is a contemporary interpretation of a world that is now her world. That's my world. Uh, but it's just so colorful and beautiful, and the food is also pretty amazing. I know, which we sampled and absolutely loved. But for today's video, you know, we were actually talking earlier and we thought, you know what, this would be a great video to to share with you guys. And I hope that you would, some of you guys will appreciate these sip tips. On tree tomato juice. <laughs> so this episode, we want to share with you guys some few tips that you could use to spice up your long distance relationship. And by spice up, we mean sex it up. Jazz it up. Yes, make not, it like, not just lovey dovey, but, but let's it's take like it to the next level. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> so, um, you wanna go first? Okay, sure. <laughs> so obviously, if you're in a long distance relationship, it's making me like giggle. I almost put my hand on your boob, like ha ha ha. ha. Okay. <laughs> but um, Skype. FaceTime, any kind of video call, WhatsApp, app. video, anything that you can just use to see someone. Super important. Yeah. But I'm not, you know, just suggesting to use it for, let's say, um, digital, d digital sex. Okay. <laughs> but like phone sex. Yeah, but like on a on a video, on a visual. Of course, you can do that, but like. It's all about the mystery and yeah. the unexpectedness of something that makes things more dynamic and interesting. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, for example, like... For example. For example, I mean, if you had some Just time... in case. And you were in the hotel... And you were in this position... Um, you could set up your, your Skype call and be talking to your boo. As you take a shower. Yeah, as you take a shower. Like an, or a bath. Or a bath, Something exactly. like steamy and sexy and is like, it's not necessarily overtly in your face, yes. but it's enough to be like, I think I, I think I know what you're gonna be thinking about tonight or go. later today. And it's all about the unexpectedness. Yeah. Oh, that's such a turn on. Yeah, another thing you could do is you try and figure out what interesting delivery services are around the area that your partner is in. Um, so, for instance, if you want to make sure that they're thinking about you, you can, I don't know, like have something really sexy delivered to them, like some strawberry covered chocolate. Uh, no, no, chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> Preggers. You, you, you didn't even notice it, so you no. can't even pull Preggers. that pregnant. <laughs> uh, nah, she didn't even notice it. I corrected myself. Anyway, you could do that. Or say, for instance, um, you know her favorite lingerie shop, you can have something sexy delivered to her and something that um, then maybe she can get to wear for you. You later. know. Yeah. But no. yeah, but I think just um, trying to understand what's in the neighborhood and what you could use to sort of like spice it yeah. up. And if... Um, but in the moment. Too. Yeah. 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 And like try and figure out like what aphrodisiacs are there in the neighborhood as well um, or around her. Chuck or like, covers. Yeah. No. No. Like oysters. <laughs> Chocolate. You see, you're making. I, Susan, do you want to tell us something? No. Should we be expecting a little bit of a bump in a couple of months? We like. Second brain. It's it's the two of us. Susan brain. Susan. <laughs> um. So for me, I I would suggest we we live in a world of technology, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, we can Skype and all, all those like different calls and video apps, but there's so many like little accessories that you can purchase now that link up to your phone based on an app and people can actually control it via the app. Yeah. So things like um, vibrating underwear rain. and oh, rain. underwear. Yes, also. Um, your partner can be touching the phone and pick the body part. Yeah, and in that moment be like, I, oh, okay, yeah, that's what they're sensation. thinking about. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and it's an instant like, ooh, yeah. jolt of like, oh, okay. Because it certainly isn't yourself, it's somebody yeah. else. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's also exciting to think that they want you. At that moment. Yes. Despite the miles. Distance. 
part. Yeah. yeah. It's, it could actually like make someone be like, oh, definitely. oh god, I feel a lot sexier right now just knowing that someone else is thinking about them. So definitely them. look up some new gadgets and um, who knows, you might just find something that's suitable for you, not too like raunchy, but just enough yeah. to give your partner a reminder. Yeah, that I'm thinking of you in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then my last one would be, as you part ways, to make sure that you gift them something that they can use or read or eat or anything to sort of just like put them in that moment. So, so they if you, leave with yeah, you in mind. Yeah, exactly. So if it's a certain kind of toy, some special lingerie, I mean, like those um, items that you were talking about right now, like the rings or the onions, yes, that's yes. when to gift them things like that at before you part ways yeah. so that, um, I mean, it's just an instant and reminder. And don't tell them what they do. Just, just say, I'll let you know when to put it on a little bit later. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yay for long distance dating. We can make um, it work. Yeah, and to make it work, and not just in the sense of like communication or I miss you, but even from a very Physical. sexy, sexual, yeah. intimate perspective, Absolutely. which is important. It's it's a huge so important. Yeah, yeah. I, what separates why you are romantically involved with someone and not the other? Yeah. Like, you don't take it for granted. But yeah, conversation was inspired by things we were talking about earlier and we just thought this would be interesting to share with you guys in case some of you guys are in long distance relationships. And let us know, like, what are some of the things that you guys did if it's not too intimate for you to share? Even share some links, maybe. Oh, oh. oh right? Yeah. Let's inspire our community. <laughs> and, that, and by the way, it also works for not just people in long distance relationships, but if, say, I was away for a week yeah, for a workshop or something. Yeah, and I want my husband to yeah. have constant reminders that I'm thinking of him. It's a, it's an easy way to just make sure that you're like, you know, his attention is yeah, always poking on you. in in the right way, in the right places. She does and her <laughs> sex scene look so well. She does it like. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yeah, I don't know. There's like a sexy look. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a great. Sexy week. Yeah. <laughs> sexy week. Sexy I forgot my outro. I'm so sorry. I'm so lame. Okay. No, she's not. She's just a child. <laughs> Bye. Check out our Two Cents playlist for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.